Hello everyone, I am Dr. Nandita, Consultant Pediatrics and Pediatric Intensive Care Unit, Manipal Hospital, Eshwadpur. Hi, I am Dr. Vinay, I am a Pediatric Hematologist, Pediatric Oncologist and Bone Marrow Transplant Physician at Manipal Hospital, Eshwadpur. Today, we are going to talk about a very interesting burning topic, cancer in children. So Dr. Vinay, how common is cancer in children? Do cancers happen in children? It's quite surprising for the general population, but you know cancers uh, is one of the third leading cause of disease in children right now in the world. Uh, world over, approximately 4 lakh kids get diagnosed with childhood cancers each year. Having said that, it is not very common. 1 in 8,000 to 10,000 children may be diagnosed with this. But if we have to say, close to 25% of world's cancers in children is diagnosed in India. So each year, approximately we see about 75,000 children who are diagnosed in our country. There are various types of cancers and uh, it is very important for the pediatricians and the local family physicians to identify the early symptoms so that the diagnosis uh, ends up with a fruitful treatment. Usually, when we hear the word cancer, parents get very stressed when we are trying to talk to them and counsel them. So, Dr. Vinay, could you please help us understand what is the difference between cancer in an adult and a child? This is a very important question. See, cancers in adults is usually lifestyle related cancers. Like you may be hearing about something like uh, uh, cancer of the stomach, cancer of the colon, or sometimes cancer of the lung, which may be related to smoking. Kids on the other side have these cancers developing because of certain uh, uninhibited proliferation of cells. So, children cancer is completely different from adult cancers. The reason one being the etiology is different, the cause is different. Second, children respond very well if treated early in a right way. And the outcomes of cancers in children is very good. So we can never compare it to adult cancers. And this is one of the first things that I tell the parents of the kids that I'm treating that don't panic. You need not talk to all your relatives or anything asking about cancer because the word itself bogs the confidence down in the parents. But childhood cancer should not be taken in a bad note because if it is treated properly, they have excellent outcomes. Those are excellent inputs from you, Dr. Vinay. This kind of eases a lot of parents doubt. And also, cancer can present in various forms. What are the symptoms we come across in a child with cancer? A very pertinent question, Dr. Nandita. Recognizing early symptoms is very important because it is very challenging for uh, the pediatricians as well as family physicians to notice these common symptoms and relate it to a childhood cancer. So few symptoms that I would like to stress here and that should make us aware that this child may need further evaluation to be sure are uh, prolonged fever uh, that does not get relieved with usual lines of treatment, unexpected weight loss or loss of appetite in a child, Irritability in a child along with some bony pains or sometimes limp in a child who is otherwise well and excessive bruising like red spots over the skin or excessive paleness. Sometimes the hands, uh, the palms and soles may look pale. These are few of the symptoms that can tell us that it can be early signs of uh, cancer. Other tumors like brain tumor may sometimes result in early awakenings in the morning and repeated vomiting. Few symptoms like, uh, few cancers like cancer of the kidney or cancer of something called adrenal gland called neuroblastoma can present as a just a lump, asymptom and like child will be well otherwise the parents may notice a hard substance or something like a hard mass in the abdomen. So those may be few of the signs and symptoms of cancer. Okay parents, those are some of the important symptoms Dr. Vinay has told us. Now Dr. Vinay, there is a lot of myths and doubts regarding treatment options in cancer. Could you please elaborate the different treatment modalities we have for this condition? Yeah. So treatment of childhood cancer has evolved dramatically in the last uh, four to five decades. And I must say that this decade, last 10 years, has shown so much of scientific revolution that the treatments have become more and more effective at the same time reducing the side effect profile as well. Currently, the treatments that we use is broadly classified as uh, 
chemotherapy which is nothing but giving treatment in the form of injections or oral medications the second thing is radiotherapy sometimes kids may get radiation for the treatment and last is surgical procedures few cancers the common ones like blood cancer do not need all three of them they just need chemotherapy and it is done in a very tailored fashion so that the side effect profile is less and it is as simple as getting any other injection of course there are few effects and side effects we always educate the parents with and with this form of uh, counseling to the parents usually the treatment journey should be very smooth and very uh, easy to pass through so there are still so much of phobia regarding cancer outcomes dr vinay could you please say a few inputs regarding that yeah so this is very important see cancer the term itself is recognized as a stigma in our society but you see that i always say the parents that the treatment of cancer is finite it is not a lifelong uh, ailment that the patient will have especially in kids and whenever we treat kids it's with a curative intent so most of the times when we treat a child it is for a duration of 6 to 8 months sometimes it may extend beyond a year but beyond that if the child is doing well they have excellent outcomes to say a few tumors of uh, kidney adrenal gland and uh, something called germ cell tumors these tumors have close to 100% survival if treated early and in an appropriate way blood cancer which is one of the commonest cancers in children if treated according to the right protocols have more than 85% survival so this says that if we treat this disease well in time by the right team with a good pediatric oncologist and a supportive nursing staff and with the infrastructure without having side effects these kids definitely will grow out to be very productive adults and most of them like 85% is like a very good survival rate as against survival of cancers in elderly so dr vinay what are the various myths they have in cancer yeah so childhood cancer we have been talking about the stigma part of the childhood cancer so childhood cancers the various myths that i would like to elaborate here is many times it comes with the dictum that cancers are not curable it's not true childhood cancers are curable the second myth is childhood cancers are contagious no it doesn't spread from one person to another if a child is diagnosed with cancer in a family it doesn't mean that it can spread to others in the family at the same time the third doubt i usually get from parents is is it genetic none of the family members are having cancer how did my kid get it so most of the childhood cancers are not genetic more than 95% of cancers in children are not genetic it is because of some abnormality in the uh, reproduction of few cells that lose the inhibition of control and then they proliferate multiple times then the third thing is once treated for childhood cancer will my child have lot of long term side effects the current protocols of treatment are tailored in a way that the side effect profile is very less we also do test time by time so that we do not cause any uh, adverse events for the child and usually most of the kids sail through the journey of treatment and they are well without any long term side effects few other myths are like uh, at the time of cancer the child should not eat specific foods and things like that we try to counsel the parents to have hygienic food try to avoid raw vegetables raw fruits try to avoid red meat but they are allowed to eat home cooked food in a hygienic way so these are few of the myths that need to be addressed to the society regarding childhood cancer and i must say that if treated in a good environment you should not have any fear about uh, unsuccessful outcome in such kids so when we hear the word cancer the parents always think it's going to be a long difficult journey for the child in the hospital so the usually they ask us dr vinay how long should a child stay in the hospital yeah so this is one of the things that gets perplexed to the parents when they come here and uh, when we diagnose a child with cancer most most of the times the treatment of the childhood cancer happens in uh, day care unit so except for the initial diagnosis part where the child may be admitted for 7 to 10 days subsequently most of the treatment is scheduled in day care visits so uh, what we do is we give a schedule well in advance for the time and duration of uh, stay they have to stay in the day care unit and usually they walk into the day care unit in the morning by about 8:39 and they leave the hospital by about 12 o'clock uh, maximum by 2 o'clock and they complete their treatment because it is scheduled in a very particular way the parents are well informed and they are well prepared to come even the nursing team everyone is well informed so when we plan in such a way the hospital visits are very minimal and mostly it is in day care basis thank you dr vinay also parents have other questions like 
what are the long term outcomes will the child be able to attend school will the child be able to get married could you please give us a brief input on that yeah so most of the kids who are treated for cancer for the first time do not have long term side effects uh, the long term side effect is less than 5% i must say and if we do the treatment in a right way and monitor them at appropriate intervals we can reduce it further to less than 1% uh, regarding attending school as soon as they finish their intensive treatment that lasts for about 3 to 6 months most of the kids are back to school and back to their routines they are physically fit to play well they are mentally fit to study and in our unit at least what we do is we encourage parents to get to the school and ask if there is any online platform training and most of our kids uh, are on some form of online training sessions and mostly they give the exams for the academic session and they do not lose their academic year we try very uh, religiously follow this so that kids do not should not get out of their routines and should not miss out on their academics so my message would be diagnose early treat appropriately and treat at the correct center so that the kids come out with flying colors thank you dr vinay for clarifying so many doubts and i think whoever is listening to this is able to understand cancer is not so much of a myth it is very much treatable whenever you are in the right center and in the right hands thank you thank you